That's my third video about this power supply and the things I want to do with it. And uh, this might get along to become a long video, so I'm going to put the times in the description down below where I do the different things because I've changed some things. Uh, the things I've changed is I've uh, got another transformer because the first one I had was giving out a bit too much voltage. And I'm going to talk about the voltage display. I will try to mount the voltage display and some other stuff on these proto PCBs. Uh, let's cut it open. We only need one. One of these. And I'm also going to take the potentiometer to move out of these. And I have a small plan to change the current limitation how it works because this also overweight to 3 amps. I will never use 3 amps of a transformer. I have can't put out 3 amps anyway. So I will try to change that. And I like to build some type of uh, green power indication that the power is on because this display turns off at below 3 volts or something like that. And here's the small warning. When I was testing this, I was using an old transformer which had a bit too much voltage, it put out 29 volts or something like that. So I found another old transformer which happens to give out 19.5 volts AC to the input. And everything has been working, I've tried it, some things. The thing is I still have zero volts, but when I turn the knob out, it flats out at just above 23 or four volts DC on the output, and that's enough for me. So the thing, the knob in the end does nothing. And as the man I tested, I'm running with the same setup, setup 15.3 volts and two resistors to monitor load. This is still 75 ohms or 250 ohms in parallel, that's 75 ohms. And when I take my thermal camera, you can see that the load is still, let me turn it a bit. It flats out somewhere, see, 100, 115 degrees, just like when I run the test with the other transformer. But the transistor is now something like 45 degrees, not 60. And also the small resistor down in the corner here is now just 48, 46, maybe 50 degrees. It was close to 75 degrees. This resistor is a part of a negative ray for the op amps and didn't like the high voltage. The plan now is to do a simple front panel. I'm going to use a simple PCB and this acrylic. It's going to end up like this when I'm finished, I hope. And let's get, get the things in the order I want them to have to function for me because I'm right handed. So I want the voltage knob to the right. Then I try to get the voltage display here, the current potentiometer then the current warning LED and the power LED. That's the plan. So I have to do some desoldering and get these components off. I have uh, two potentiometers in place. This is going to be for the voltage and will be the current and I have a voltage display. Now my little idea about the current limiter. Uh, it's quite simple. It's a right it like it's right now it's a potentiometer which is 10k. And my little plan is I don't want to change which which this value so something goes wrong. I just want the potentiometer to do a smaller range of a full. So if I'm not totally wrong, this might be stupid, but it's me doing the easy thing for me. I'm going to take the potentiometer, still 10k, and put it in parallel with the new resistor, which I've chosen, chosen to be 2.2k. Now the problem is, if I do like this, it's no longer 10k potentiometer straight over, so I'm going to put a 8.2k resistor up here. If I do my math correct, this is still a 10k potentiometer.
So the two potentiometers in place and the display and a little remake of the current function here. So I'm going to turn up and we get, as you can see, the current limitation kicks in right away because the scale is now gone down a bit. I have to turn up a bit. So I can even get the current limit to react on the voltage display as it seems now. So it should be a smaller scale on the current now. So it still gets 24.23 something. My front panel is starting to get where I want it. So I put up the voltage display, the potentiometers and the diode for the current overcurrent warning. I see it lies red and let's get it back to where we've been earlier. 15.3 volts, let's find it, 15.3. What took me a while to figure out how I was going to do it is I've changed the current limit potentiometer. So as you can see, it's all the way down. Now it cuts, I have a 15.3 volts again and my 75 ohm low. So this is 200 milliamps. So I have changed the dial. So originally it was a three amp at full turn. Now it's somewhere around 500 milliamps. We had the original potentiometer. The A potentiometer that was, was a 10K potentiometer with three pins. Nothing strange about that. So I just taken the three pins and on the right side, I have a new resistor and that was a uh, see my numbers 8.2k then I had the original potentiometer here connected to this one as earlier and then the middle one this potentiometer and I added a parallel resistor here and that's 2.2k and this is the original 10k. So this gives me a scale so that I don't get the full full 3 amps when I turn the knobs. That's my solution. The last thing I want to do was our power LED that's gonna light up when the power is on. And I have a bunch of square green LEDs. So I took two of these and just wired them together in series. So I'm just going to check that they work. Uh, I'm going to put them like this. Make sure I do not short out something. Be it further apart. Now I turn my power supply to 5 volts. I know it can't run it straight. I need two resistors. Here they are. These are things that are lying around. These are 330 ohms and I'm gonna run them in parallel so that's 165 ohms it's gonna end up it at I can soon explain why I'm doing this I'm gonna check that it works still works negative and positive and we have green light my original plan was to use one 330 ohm but I think that's to I want a brighter light so with these two and the two LEDs I is pulling some for like six milliamps so it's nothing but give it a nice green light to tell me that it's on. Now where am I going to connect this? Well there's a voltage regulator back here for the fan a 24 volt fan but feeding LED from 24 volt and burning off power in resistors doesn't work for me so I went and looked at my old stash and found this old circuit board. Here are two voltage regulator. This happens to be the 7805 and they should have 5 volt output. So I'm going to desolder these and check that they work and then put them in and use that 5 volt which is on as soon as they're powering in to power by power LED. I have desolder the the voltage regulator I have it here I use the power supply now feeding out 24 volts to this little voltage regulator which give me 5 volts out to my little indication that the power is on I am finished or almost I still have it 
stuff loose on the table so I'm gonna put it on something more stable later and I finished what I want to do so I made this front end with the PCB with my power LED current limitation warning knob for the current limitation voltage knob and the voltage display so I ended up doing this power LED with the 7805 I just switched out the voltage regulator took the voltage out here and this very simple circuit paper I have plus 5 volts and then I took two resistors I had lying around in parallel and then the LEDs in series zero and these are 330 ohms resistors in parallel so this gives me approximately 10 milliamps across the LEDs or through the LEDs. So it works nice. I'm gonna put on the power and watch it light up. We have a green light. Now we turn up a voltage here. Yeah. The red indicator for the current limitation turns on and display doesn't turn off because the voltage is too low. And I just check it so I have 150 ohms load on as earlier and I've, there's a small voltage out which means if I do my calculation right I have about 5 milliamps out right now and that's okay that's the lowest setting on the current limitation and if I turn this up voltage is going up and then the current limitation turns off around here and if I'm doing my math right that should be around 150 milliamps through this so this is 150 this little turn that means this should be around 500, 600 milliamps for full turn instead of the 3 amps as the original version. And as you can see, I do not get the full voltage out because the transformer is giving my two volt small low voltage input. So I don't get the full voltage out, but that's not a problem for me. If I remove the resistor, so the voltage is going to go up. And I can turn down the voltage. Oh, too much nice and easy so i'm quite pleased if you feel like building this go ahead and be careful if you do modifications i do check everything you're doing don't get rushed i did some mistakes with my current limitation system here so i had to do rebuild it twice but that's what it is we're going to rebuild and test things so have fun and take care